Hello friends, in this video we will talk about decision tree. Now decision tree is a chronological representation of the decision process. It is useful for structuring the various alternatives. It presents a graphical representations of the various courses of actions and the possible states of the nature of decision problems. It has two types of nodes, square nodes and circular nodes. Square node to represent the decision alternatives. The branches leaving from squares denote the different decision alternatives. Circular node to represent states of the nature. The branches leaving from each circle node denote different states of nature. At the leaf part, the payoff from all the branches are displayed. A decision tree is constructed by utilizing the logic of the problem. For the chance nodes, ensure that the probabilities along any outgoing branch sum to 1. The expected payoff is calculated by rolling the tree backward. Now steps to build decision tree. Here we discuss about the basic steps to build the decision tree as follows. So draw the decision tree using squares to represent decisions and circles to represent uncertainty. Evaluate the decision tree to make sure all possible outcomes are included. Calculate the tree values working from the right side back to the left. Calculate the values of uncertain outcomes nodes by multiplying the values of the outcome by their probability. Now decision based on decision tree. For example, you have money to invest and the objective is to earn as high a return on your investment as possible. There are two alternatives, invest in a share market or keep in the money in a savings bank account with a fixed interest rate. If you invest in the share market, your return depends on the success of the share market. You figure there could be two possible outcomes. The share value is either widely high and returned and earning you beyond your initial investment or the share value is low and losing money. On the other hand, if you put your money into a savings account, you will earn an interest regardless of share value. Now, expected return on investment. If investment is made in the share market, then PR plus 1 minus P into L and if money is kept in the savings bank account, then EB is equal to R. So, the they decision is invest in share market if ES is greater than EB. Now, to construct the decision tree, we must follow the rules as follows. A decision tree is typically constructed to be read beginning on the left and continuing to the right until the outcome is reached. The branches leaving from choice note must be constructed so that the decision maker can choose only one option. No branch can be modeled as combinations of choice option. The branches leaving from the uncertain note must represent a set of outcomes that are both mutually exclusive and collectively exhaustive. All possible paths available to a decision maker are fully mapped in the tree including all possible choices and uncertainty outcomes. The decision tree must be constructed to depict an accurate chronology of events over time. Should I carry my umbrella or not? If I do not and it is sunny, that is that is the best and value is 1. If I do and it rains, I would not get wet but inconvenient. Hence the value is 0 0.75. If I do not and if I do not and it rains, I ruin my suit and the value is 0. Probab let the probability of sunshine is P. Construct a decision tree. Now the P of calculation is if I take umbrella, then 0 0.75 into P. So P is what? Uh, probability of sunshine okay and uh, uh, we have to multiply 0 0.75 into p and plus if it is uh, if it rains and and if it rains then the product is what 1 minus p and we have to multiply with the 0 0.75 the answer is 0 0.75 and if i do i do not take umbrella then 1.0 into p plus 0 into 1 minus p the answer is p so the decision is if p is less than 0 0.75 then carry the umbrella. So we can see this particular decision tree. So these are the alternatives. We can take the umbrella or we may not take the umbrella. And if it is sun sign, the, it, the probability is what? 1 
okay so this is one and if it is uh, if you do not take umbrella and if it is rain then it is what it is zero but if it is a so if you take umbrella and if it is a sun sign then definitely convenient is what 0 0.75 and if you take the umbrella and if it is rain then it is also 0 0.75 now in the another example we can see you have 50 rupees 50,000 to invest and the objective is to earn as high a return on your investment as possible there are two alternatives investing in a share market and keeping the money in savings account with a fixed interest rate if you invest in the share market your return depends on the success of the share market you figure there could be two possible outcomes if share value is either widely high and you earn rupees 20000 beyond your initial investment leaving you rupees 70000 in total and the share value is low and you lose rupees 10000 on the other hand if you put your money in a savings account you will earn rupees 4000 as interest regardless of the share value draw the decision tree now you can see the decision tree in this particular decision tree so there are two alternatives so we may use a savings account or in the share market uh, in the share market there are two chances that that uh, if it is a earning that means if if the gain is there then the profit is 20,000 total return is what 50,000 plus 20,000 it is 70,000 and if it is losing and if it is a losing amount is 10,000 then the return is what 40,000 but if it is in savings account then we have to uh, the interest is what interest uh, the interest value is what 4,000 then the return value is what 54,000 50,000 plus the interest 4,000 the total is 54,000 and this is the decision tree for investing money now in the third example we can see our old example uh, a sweet vendor has to decide how many sweets of a particular type to prepare on a given tree the total consumption or demand per day is uncertain he analyzed the past demand and found the pattern of the de demand distribution based on one year as shown in the table so uh, already we have seen this particular tv please pre refer our previous video where we can explain this particular pro problem uh, clearly and elaborately but in short we can say uh, consumption per day so 50 sweets per day total number of days say 60 it is a previous or previous year days and total 100 sweets per day so total number of days it is 150 okay and if you draw if you add all this we will get the total answer is 365 so from this particular disk we can get the probability so 60 divided by 365 the answer is 0 0.1644 and this is the probability that consumption of 50 50 sweets per day is what 50 and we can say the maximum probability is what 0 0.411 that is 100 sweets per day so sweets not sold on any day rotten and have to be thrown out selling price of the sweets uh, per sweet is rupees 20 and the cost of preparation is rupees 15 per sweets so the sweet vendor has to take decision about how many sweets per day to prepare and construct the decision tree now we can see this particular table now in this particular table uh, already we have seen all this particular all these informations so these are the consumptions per day these are the probabilities okay and uh, the number of preparation of the sweets 50 100 150 and 200 and we, and we have calculated all this information please refer our previous video for all these calculations branches living from the decision alternative of preparation of sweets are 50 150 50 100 150 and 200 you can see here we can see here these are the preparation of the sweets okay and these are the consumptions and out of that these are the probabilities so these are the consumptions and these are the associated probabilities okay the payoff for each decision alternative are given at the extreme of the tree for every branch of states of nature for every decision options emb that is expected monetary value is calculated and displayed in each circle emb optimum is one that gives the highest monetary value so you can see here so these are the expected returns so already we know how to calculate all these things so total you have prepared 50 and consumption is 50 so and the profit is 5 rupees so 50 into 5 it is 250 you have prepared 50 but the demand is 100 so definitely 
it is still the because uh, so the crop profit will be 250 okay and so on and similarly here the 100 you have prepared 100 sweets but the consumption is 50 so the total profit is what total profit is 250 250 okay and uh, the loss and and the loss is what 50 into uh, 15 that is uh, 750 so the loss is what 750 so gain is what gain is 250 and the loss is minus 750 so total loss is what minus 500 okay so the loss is 500 so please refer our old videos to to get uh, to, to get all the values how to get all these values okay now if you multiply this one so what is the maximum value it is 250 and if you multiply all these things you can get 336 11 and 643 so the maximum value is what it is a maximum value so we have to prepare 100 sweets now difference between influence diagram and decision tree influence diagram are more compact than decision tree influence diagram are much easier to build than decision tree Influence diagram gives basic information, but decision tree gives detailed information. Influence diagram are graphically more appealing when presenting to upper management, and while decision tree are not so appealing. Influence diagram are much easier, much easier to modify than decision tree. Having an influence diagram, we can immediately obtain a decision tree, but the reverse reverse is not true in general. And that is the end of this particular video. Thank you very much.